My name is Tris Kids, I've sold my work through gallery exhibitions in famous cities like Berlin, Milan, Buenos Aires, Brussels, but also through online marketplaces like Etsy, for example, or my own website. And so in this video, we'll be talking about selling your art prints on sites like Etsy, Squarespace, and things like that. Let's start with Etsy. Now, for those who don't know what Etsy is, Etsy is basically a place where anyone can sell basically anything to the entire world. And there are a couple of benefits that are connected to a business model like that. For starters, it is extremely easy to start. You don't have to build your own website. You can just take some pictures of designs of, of your art prints and sell them theoretically by the end of the day. And on top of that, you also don't need any money to market your art prints or an audience to market your art prints because you can use SEO strategies on Etsy to find traffic, to find customers that then buy your work. Now, the downsides of selling on a marketplace like that is that it is not necessarily oriented towards art only. And so you have shoppers who are searching for anything. They don't know anything about art specifically. They don't know how to appreciate it. They don't know anything about the regular prices that are connected to the artworks. And on top of that, they are also expecting extremely low price points because that's the brand that Etsy has built for itself. And as a result of that, you will have to sell at extremely low price points. And so what does that mean selling your art at extremely low price points? It means that you will not be selling fine art prints that are signed at 500, 600, 700 dollar price points, but you will be selling at 30 or 40 dollar price points. Now, another downside is that on places like that, you are competing with artists that are living in developing countries, meaning that these artists can sell their artworks, their art prints at five to 10 times lower price points without lowering their living quality and so it's very hard to actually compete in a marketplace like that and make some real money now if these cons are not really in line with your goals there is an alternative selling on your own website with for example a platform like Squarespace now the advantage here is that you can obviously sell at whatever price point that you want you're not competing with other artists in developing countries and so you can sell fan art prints you can sell for $500 price points $600 price points etc 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 and this is crucially important while you are selling while you are marketing your work you can collect the customer data meaning that if if a customer comes onto your website and, and checks out some of your art prints but doesn't buy it, you can then retarget those customers with campaigns, with advertisements later on, a week later, a month later, whatever, whatever you want basically. And so this is where all the gold is. This is where all the opportunity lies when it comes to selling online. Now, there are some cons connected to this as well. And the first one is that you actually have to build your own website. Now, this is not the hardest thing in the world at this moment, but if you're a little bit older, let's say 50, 55, this is probably not that easy for you. And so you will have to or figure that out, which will be a real struggle, or hire somebody that can make that website for you, which will be a $5,000 sum. And on top of that, there's also a monthly cost involved in maintaining your website. And so if you're not careful, this can really start to stack up for no real reason whatsoever. And then the third con, and this is by far the biggest con, is that you will have to drive traffic yourself through, for example, social media meaning that you need an audience first and that you have to build that audience or through advertisement, meaning that you have to, you need advertisement skills first of all, and then also money to do that or SEO. Now, all of the three things that I just mentioned, social media, advertisements or SEO, they are all really, really, really hard, especially for something that doesn't have an inherent demand like art, for example. And so the success rate on something like this for beginners it's less than 1% for sure. And so in, in theory, it sounds really good, your own website. In theory, it makes sense. In theory, it is the best option, but in practical terms for beginners, it's probably not the best option. Now, whatever option you end up choosing, Etsy or Squarespace or another platform to sell your art on, one thing is certain, you will need art prints. And there are basically two options to get those art prints. You either print them yourself or you use something like a print on demand facility that can print those things for you. Now, if you choose to make your own prints, to print your own prints, there are some advantages just connected to that. First of all, you will be able to customize your prints, meaning that you can go towards something that is in between an original piece of art and the print and therefore play around with your price points. On top of that, you will also be able to sign your prints and so you will be able to sell fine art prints at higher price points, bigger profit margins, making more money. And when it comes to the cons, there are two main cons. First of all, you will have to invest in a printer and materials upfront before you
you can sell anything. And so if you don't have a budget, this is not really an option. And then the second thing is that you will have to do all the work, all the printing yourself. And it's not just the printing, it's also the packaging, the printing out labels, the searching for the right things on your computer, etc., etc. And all of those things can really add up. I know artists that spend the majority of their time packaging and sending out art prints instead of making art. And so this can, this can be a somewhat devastating choice. And because we don't want to spend time printing, packaging, sending out art prints, and we want to spend time making art, print on demand might be the best option for you. And the pros here are, or could be potentially massive. First of all, because you don't have to do anything yourself, you don't have to do printing, you don't have to do packaging, you could potentially build a passive income stream that just generates money for you while you are sleeping. And when it comes to the cons, there are a couple of cons. The first one is that your products are limited. You are limited to what the print on demand companies are offering, and you you can't really print anything else. On top of that, you don't get to see the print before you ship it out to the customer, meaning that you can't sign it, you cannot sell fine art prints or anything like that with print on demand companies. And so you can go for this high profit margin business models. Now in the last part of this video, we should be talking about more practical ways of actually using these websites, of actually selling your art prints to some kind of step-by-step -step guide that you can follow to avoid the pitfalls and to start that business endeavor in the best way possible without wasting years of your life making silly mistakes like I did and so we should be talking about that but that would make this video way too long and so I'm very sorry but we are not going to do that predominantly because I already did it's called how to sell art on Etsy you could be watching it it's linked up in the description and in the end screens that's it get the hell out of here